So this is really tough. I'm trying to get this out. Uh, this message, I believe, is going to uh, help you get through this day, uh, especially for those of us who are dealing with temptations and trigger and early recovery. Yesterday, I put out a video. It was part one, step one, if you will, on how to combat temptation and triggers. Please go check it out. But essentially, what I'm saying is, first and foremost, we need a right relationship with Jesus Christ. And I'm basing this on uh, Jesus getting baptized by John the Baptist, which is a baptism of repentance. When I'm talking Matthew 3. Go check it out. Today, though, I want to talk about the next step. Once we've accepted who Jesus Christ is and we know the truth about who Jesus is and we've come to a place where we have accepted him as our Lord and Savior, and now we're going to use that as our as our strength, that we're going to draw on Jesus Christ for our strength. We're going to take our sins to him and, 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 and lay him down at the cross. The second step is what Jesus does is he goes into the wilderness for 40 days. But before that, it says that the angels go into the wilderness with him. And, and so he has uh, an accountability group, an entourage, if you will. This is what I want to talk about today is our entourage. What are we doing to combat uh, triggers and temptations when we're dealing with people, places, and things? When our job, so this is Jesus's job. This is his ministry. This is his life. He needs to go into the wilderness for 40 days. He hasn't eaten. He is a shell of himself. He has at, at, at a low when the tempter shows up and tempts him to turn the rocks into bread. Go check out, go check out Matthew 4. I don't have time to read it. Quick video here. Anyways, so he, this is his job. So when our job says you need to go to this place or you're going to be around people or things and we need to do it because it's our job or life just has handed us a crap sandwich and this is our lot in life for that day. I think we need to first and foremost armor ourselves up. Get in Ephesians and armor ourselves up every single day. Do this. Make it a ritual in your life. And I'm not a religious man, but do this religiously. Armor yourselves up against the schemes of the devil. Then second of all, like Jesus, he doesn't go into the wilderness alone. No, when he has to go in the wilderness, because this is what he has to do to prove that he is above Satan, that the tempter has nothing to tempt him with because he is God, he is Jesus, and you shall not tempt your God, your Lord God. Uh, this is, he has an entourage of angels. Here I'm going to tell you, we need to bring somebody with us. Uh, don't have a pocket full of cash and go into the, into the city alone. You're going to put yourselves where your temptation and triggered body has come and, and, and it's going to win that battle. You need an entourage, bring people, be accountable. Don't have a pocket full of money and then go to where you shouldn't be going. This is going to end badly. Be accountable. Set yourself up with the recipe that will work. And that is have somebody with you. Have the angels pray that the angels of God are on your shoulder. Understand that you are accountable to your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That God knows exactly what you're doing. You cannot hide in the dark. You cannot hide your sins in the dark against God. We are always accountable to God. But in a practical application, bring somebody with you. You. bring my children you know i've got grown children and, and and if i'm going somewhere one of them's riding with me now one of them's riding me i got no money in my pocket my debit card is set up so i have a 15 dollars limit i can't i can't take cash out these are uh, set yourself up for success not failure don't put a pocket full of cash in your have nobody with you and then try to go and do something because you think that that life has has dictated that you have to go do this Yet you're in the very place or around the people or around the things that you know are going to let your stomach leap when you are triggered. You know that feeling too. When your stomach leaps like Christmas morning for my kids. That's what it feels like when I am triggered. Like and I have the recipe for success to relapse. My body is excited and I'm not getting on the phone calling anybody, am I? Not at that point. I'm done. I'm beat. The relapse has already happened and I'm headed to the trap house. So instead, I have my children with me. I don't have any money. I can't take any money out. And I go and take care of my business without 
uh, minimizing my brain and my body being triggered. I'm just saying, this is what Jesus does here, is he has an entourage of angels when he goes into the wilderness, when he knows he's going to be in a low place. Satan's not going to tempt you when you got people with you, and you are doing well, and you're having a good day. He's going to tempt you when you're all alone, and you've had a crappy day, and you and, and the recipe for a relapse is uh, is uh, is available. This is when he's going to show up. Your flesh will lose the battle and the tempter is going to show up and make sure your flesh loses that battle. You got to be accountable. You got to stay uh, plugged in and understand, armor yourselves up before God each and every day. Be accountable. Have people with us. Don't put a bunch of cash in your wallet. Stop cash apping people and set yourself up like Jesus does here in Matthew 4 for success. Our whole human history depended on him having success. Your family, your loved ones depend on you setting yourself up for success. Y'all have a blessed day. Keep the faith, my friends, and stay out of the trap house.